In this video, we watch how the ISBN exercise from series 8 can be solved and submitted using the ISBN 13 system once again. Since the calculation is done in exactly the same way as in series 7, we can reuse the function is ISBN 13 from series 7. An ISBN 13 code is also an EM13 code. In EM13 codes, the only valid prefixes for ISBN 13 codes are 978 and 979. This means that an ISBN 13 code is invalid unless it starts with 978 or 979. The fourth digit in this code identifies the country where the book was published. Countries using the same language are grouped into the same category. The following table gives an overview of these categories. We should now write a function overview that takes a list of strings representing ISBN 13 codes as an argument. The function must print an overview that shows the distribution of the list of ISBN 13 codes over the different registration groups. Invalid ISBN 13 codes must be included in the overview under the category errors. Registration groups for which no ISBN 13 codes occur in the list should also be included in the overview, having zero occurrences. In order to solve this exercise, we will make use of dictionaries for keeping track of the frequencies. We switch to PyCharm. Since we also need to check whether the string arguments actually correspond with ISBN 13 codes, we reuse the function is ISBN 13 from series 7. In this solution, a number of tests are carried out. After all, we checked whether the argument is a string of 13 characters and whether all the characters are numerical. However, now we must check whether the code is prefixed by either 978 or 979. So we add this extra test. If the first three characters do not correspond with the values 978 or 979, the argument is not a correct ISBN 13 code and we return false. If the code does start with either of these values, we will then calculate the check digit using the known formula and check whether this check digit matches the last character of the code and return this result. In this exercise, we should write a function overview that takes a list of strings as an argument and that prints an overview showing the distribution of the list of ISBN 13 codes over the different registration groups. So we have to create a frequency table. To create and build this, we will make use of a dictionary. So we create the function overview. In the first part of this function, we will create and initialize the dictionary. In the second part, we construct the histogram of the groups and in the last part, we print the summaries. So we split the problem into three parts and add the commands. First, we create the empty dictionary. This dictionary will contain 11 elements with the group identifiers as key and the number of occurrences in the list as corresponding value. Each group starts with zero occurrences. In the second part, we scan all the codes from the list and check whether they correspond with a valid ISBN 13 code. We can do this by using the function is ISBN 13. So if the argument matches a valid ISBN 13 code, we extract the country code, the fourth character in the code, convert it to an integer and increase the frequency in this group by one. If the argument does not correspond a valid ISBN 13 code, we increase the value in the group with key value 10 by one. This is the group for the 40 co codes. After going through all the codes in the list, the dictionary contains the results. All that remains us to do now is to print the summary. 
The data must be printed in the specified order. This results in the following code. For the English-speaking countries, we add groups 0 and 1, followed by the French-speaking, the German-speaking, Japan, the Russian-speaking and China, and then the other countries with codes 6, 8 and 9. We finish off by printing the number of 40 ISBN 13 code, which we included in group 10. We add the doctists from the donor and run our program. We obtain no errors in PyCharm. We decide to submit our solution to the donor. And we obtain a correct result. So in this video, we watched how we can solve the ISBN assignment from series 8. We used the dictionary to track a frequency table. In this table, the key denotes the country code and the value corresponds to the number of times that this country code features on the list.